I thought it was the worst attempt I've ever seen to try and get a penalty. <laughs> right, it was then. an awful dive, and and the ball was nowhere near, and, the, and really the defender was nowhere near either. It was a terrible attempt to try and uh, salvage a point out of the game. So you had no clear view either way then, okay? <laughs> Bit of controversy on the show. Victor. On Mike Rivero, Fuzer. Danger threatening again, Boxic. He's given the penalty. I hate to say it, but I think this referee was always uh, liable to do something like that. They're obviously not very happy and uh, they, they might have a point. Um, we'll probably see the rerun of that and, and see what the situation is. As the, there's a lovely little floaty ball into him. He's, now, Battistini's arms were all over him, but it's not going to take much for a centre forward to go down in that situation. It's an excellent ball from Fuzer into it. Missing out fairly, plonks it straight on his chest. And, uh, you know, that's the great thing about our game. Opinions, everybody's got their own opinion. And, uh, I personally would have given a penalty, seeing Battistini's well, arms all over him. Inter's opinions are pretty harsh here. Absolutely incensed. Had so much of the game as well, haven't they? It's... Uh, Really, Lazio really haven't been in it as far as an attacking force is concerned, but now they could find themselves straight back in the game. We could see Signori's technique as well, Peter, from the penalty spot. The, uh, his little two steps and a blast. Well, no one has shown themselves yet. I don't think anyone fancies it. Signori has the ball, and Signori is going to take the kick. There's a steal he'll need here. There's a neat little technique, only a couple of uh, steps away. And rather lashes the ball. Four minutes left. I've just listened to the whistles of the Inter fans trying to put him off. Signore trying to retain his composure and well the referee uh, not happy where the ball was I think Signore is complaining that there's a bit of a dip in the penalty spot and he doesn't really want to be kicking it out of a dip well can he keep his nerve amidst the bedlam in the stadium and the pressure of the occasion Signore scores! 1-1. Fantastic penalty kick. Really did whack it in with the uh, inside of the foot. It's a strange old technique he uses, but uh, it seems very successful for him. There we go. Just a couple of steps and whips it into the, into the far corner, giving Zenga no chance whatsoever. Well, he guessed correctly, Zenga wasn't all that far away, but it was perfectly placed in by Giuseppe Signore. Ten goals in 12 games in Serie A this season. He's missed a few because of injury. The first piece of quality that Lazio actually got into the box in the whole game. That was uh, a great little ball in from Cruiser. And it just goes to show, you get a little bit of quality, uh, what you can get on the end of it, and uh, the penalty resulted in that. Fair cap with a header. Safely dealt with by Marco Gianni. A lot of disgruntled fans in the stadium now, the Inter fans, that is. The coach's job, we were told, would go if they lost today. Maybe they will. Here's Victor. Well, it was half a chance that he created for himself. He wonderful piece he of skill, Yeah, yep. wonderful piece of skill, wasn't it? Uh, he made a great run to get on the end of the ball, flicked it over Battistinian, and could even have taken it on by the looks of it. He elected for the volley, but uh, it wasn't to be, not today anyway. Into one, Lazio one. Two teams who really need to win today to maintain their championship challenge. Level on points before the start of play, but seven behind Milan, who play tonight. There's Signori, Fuzer. That bobbled very unkindly. Yes, it did, uh, but it's uh, quite evident that when Fruzer does get up there and he, he starts getting on the ball, that uh, Lazio do look, do look quite dangerous. 
Di Matteo on by Orlando. Here's Jong. Now Sosa. And I wonder now, are Inter going to be left to rule the chances they missed earlier on? Maybe not that many clear-cut chances, but certainly opportunities. Certainly opportunities, Peter. Yeah, they have had a few, and uh, they really should have put this game way beyond uh, the reach of Lazio earlier on in the game. Um, unfortunately, when you are one in front, you do run the risk of, of something happening, and, and it has happened in the shape of that penalty. Bergomi to Orlando. Manacone, Bergomi again. This is Mauro, we're now into injury time. Boxic to Signori. Almost deceived the inter-defenders. Jonk. Boxic with Vinter. Favalli. In goes Signori, just whisked away there from Fontelan. Di Matteo, good strike! A sensation. Lazio <laughs> have taken the lead with seconds to go. Di Matteo, what a strike. My goodness, it's, it's always the way, isn't it? They haven't really been in the game at all. Di Matteo hits it, and uh, it, it just bounces right in front of Zenga, and he can't get to the pitch of the ball. And there it is, in the back of the net. A very difficult ball for goalkeepers to have to take. We've just had a shot out of nothing, all of 30 yards, and there it is in the back of the net. Di Matteo with only his third goal for Lazio this season. And what a vital one for them. Into injury time with the goal. A oh, half-time fee, you wouldn't have given them a chance, would they? They, they were lifeless, they just didn't look as if they were, were interested in the match. And now here we find them uh, in the last minutes going 2-1 in front. Unbelievable. Isn't it? And if the word beforehand is right, the coach Bagnoli is on his way out of Inter. Signori. What a turnaround. Still Signori, now Vinter. Lazio will be anxious to keep it at this end of the field. Maybe even find another goal. Boxic. Who's there? Did someone once say it's a funny old game? Well, this game really has been a funny one, Peter, hasn't it? Uh, that's I uh, really haven't been in the match, and uh, they find themselves 2-1 in front. So it's quite, quite extraordinary. And the frustration of the Inter fans has turned into anger. It's very sad that the game should reflect upon Bagnoli. Um, Inter have had the majority of the game, and if for a man to lose his job after performing relatively well of Inter have done, um, it's quite sad, I think. But the stakes are so high, Ray, they, they have to uh, retain their championship drive, and that's not going to happen, is it, now? No, it's not going to happen, no. They, uh, they've got to watch themselves. They won't even qualify for Europe, and that would be uh, very sad as, as far as Inter is concerned. Well, they're still persevering. Here's York. I think that was the prime example of uh, uh, a one-footed player there. Jonk actually came onto it with his left foot with no conviction at all, really. And it really did look a, an old swinger there from, from Jonk. Bearcat, they still might save it. Makajihani beats it away. Lazio haven't won here in Serie A since 1957. They're going to put the record straight today unless Inter can snatch it right at the last. Deep into time added on, but there is the final whistle. Down go the Inter heads, and they can't believe that this has happened. Lazio celebrate, winning by two goals to one with those late, late goals. Signori from the penalty spot, then Di Matteo in injury time. Amazing transformation, Ray. Yeah, incredible stuff. Uh, at half-time, he wouldn't really have given them a chance. But I thought in the first five, ten minutes of the second half, they came out and were going to have a go, Lazio. Uh, but then they sunk back into their old ways. The passing was, at times, atrocious. They were giving the ball away uh, needlessly. But they clawed themselves back, they got themselves the penalty, got back into it. And then Di Matteo just had that shot from 30-odd yards, which was very difficult for Zenga. 
but uh, looking back at it he'll be disappointed if he didn't save it and there we see some quite jubilant uh, Lazio supporters there uh, that you know considering Lazio have conceded lots of goals away from home just recently uh, that's a good victory for them well let's reflect on the highlights of the match first of all the goal that uh, looked to have set Inter on their way scored by Ruben Sosa